Hi guys, and thanks for joining me for your practice, whether you're at home or traveling. I always appreciate you jumping on my YouTube channel. Today's flow is gonna be a nice vinyasa practice, more of a slow flow style of holding some poses, getting a little bit deeper into the body if possible. Get All right, more. so allow yourself to move into child's pose. So remember, you can go knees together, feet together, so then the stomach can rest on the thighs and you can extend your arms out or back. Or if you wanna get a little bit more opening, make it a little juicier, you'll go knees apart, feet together, let your chest rest between your knees as you extend your arms. And this is a little bit more yummy, but it's also, you know, it's a lot of opening in the hips. So if your body doesn't really like that or you're feeling a little tight, bringing the knees together can be a little bit more supportive if you'd like to do that instead. With your arms extended, they can stay here or here's another option. Bring your palms together like prayer pose. And then you'll place your thumbs right at the base of your neck. Your elbows are forward as your chest rests down. So feel that little slope through the spine. Good, exhale, relax. You can see it as a ski slope or a wave, whichever one you prefer. I think I prefer the wave over the ski slope, but up to you. And then exhale, feel the softening in your upper back. And then I invite you guys, if you are with me in this kind of bounded child's pose, walk your elbows forward a little bit more. Like your elbows are now your fingers. And then push back from there. See if you can make even a deeper slope or wave with your spine. Good. Breathe in and out. If the back is tight or tense, we want to give it some time we want to stay in a pose longer than just two quick breaths. We really want to see the sensations change. We want to feel that shift of energy throughout as well. If your elbows are still bent with me, extend your arms long in front of you. So now we're all in that full extended child's pose with the arms long. Exhale, gracefully bring the torso up to tabletop. That's your hands and your knees. And then push down into your hands, inhale, feel the heart rise. So here's another little slope of the spine. You should feel like your back is now a little bowl. Exhale, tuck the chin round your upper back and then move forward and back. So create that nice little range of motion forward and back. Good. Exhale. Extend your left leg back behind you. Push to the ball of the foot. So I want you to start to activate the calf muscle, the heel. You have your soleus, the base of the foot. And then go ahead and kick your right foot off your mat to the right. So I'll demo that one more time. Just pop it out. Ground your foot through the left leg. And then raise your left arm up so it's a knee down side plank, but also reach over your head. Here's that little back bend. Good, now roll your chest open, three. Find the freedom in the side of your body here, two. Good, take a big circle with your left arm behind the back, almost like a backstroke, which I'm not good at, and then release your hands down. Good, exhale, child's pose, tap your butt to your heels. Inhale, tabletop, hands and knees, pause. Good, side two, inhale when you're ready. Right leg goes back first, press to the ball of your foot. And if you did the left side first, it doesn't matter, whichever leg you wanna do. Right leg is back now, P push, push, push. Good, now we kick the foot off the mat. So I'm gonna take my left toes, pop them over towards you. Ground down through my right leg, inhale, reach up through my right palm. And then let the arm reach over the head. And I'm much tighter on my right side. So when I do this on this side, I really feel the stretch and I really feel the sensation of trying to hold on to that energy. Push, push, reach, reach, reach. Good. Now backstroke your right arm. Exhale, both hands down. Booty tap, heel, butt to heels. Exhale, torso comes forward. We're gonna slither down to our belly. 
good. So you might need to pop some of your stuff out of the way. I feel like I always lay my water bottle down where I think it's not gonna be in the way and it's always in the way. <laughs> now, hands are next to you. They're in that cobra-like shape for press. So when you're ready, you're gonna very gently start to bring the torso up a few inches or into fully straight arms. Keep your body down from the hips to the toes. So it's not your up dog, it's just your cobra right now. So open it up. Exhale, slither back down to the earth, breath out. Good, two more rounds. Inhale, breath in, press up and open. Exhale, breath out, make your way down to your mat. Final round, hug in with the shoulder blades. Press up, 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 up. Good, exhale, hands and knees. We tuck our toes. Let's go ahead and find down dog. Good, now my home's a little chilly, so I have my socks on, which also like, unfortunately makes me a little slippery. So noticing if you have socks on or your mats on carpet, just kind of acknowledge that so that when we move today, you know if there's something in the way and that's okay. Bend those knees a little bit. So I'm just gonna be more aware that I'm wearing socks versus my stronger feet when they're barefoot. Exhale, you're gonna carefully walk your feet up to your hands. So take your time. Good, once you arrive there, I want you to take a nice deep forward fold, exhale. Now my version of a deep forward fold might be very different than yours and that's fine. Yours might be very different than mine, but I want you to notice what feels the best. How can you tilt your tailbone up to the sky? So think about taking your butt up. And then exhale, how can you take your head down? How can you tuck your chin? How can you feed your head? This is, this is just a, you know, a thought process between your knees. AKA folding in half versus just bending over. Let's take our half lift. So put your hands on your blocks or your shins or your thighs, it's up to you. Get nice and flat as you reach your booty out and you reach your heart forward. Feel the muscles in your back engage. Exhale, blow out a big candle as you fold forward. It's literally called a candle breath. Good, reach forward and up. We're gonna stand together. So inhale, arms up, eyes up, look up. Exhale, hands by your sides. Good, breath out. From here, take your shoulders, roll them backwards three times. One, close your eyes if you want. Two, and three. We're gonna put our hands on our low back. Fingers can face your butt or your head. Pull your elbows together, inhale, hold on to your lumbar spine, which is your low back, and then give me a nice little back bend here, three. Bend those knees a little bit if you want, two, don't go too far. Exhale, hold your low back, forward fold. Hands to shins, blocks or the earth, halfway up. First high plank, step it back with me when you're ready, one foot and then the other. Exhale, chaturanga, that's your push-up, lower. Breath in, here's your first opportunity for up dog or back to cobra. Good, everyone gaze up a little higher. Exhale, push through your feet. Meet me in downward facing dogs in round two. Right leg rises, inhale, reach it up. Step your right foot forward, exhale. Now, keep your left hand on the mat. Remember, you can use a block if you need to under your hand. Reach your right arm into the air, twist. Now, walk your right foot over to the right. So I'm gonna walk my right foot over towards the curtains. Put your right hand behind your head. Roll your right elbow down to your thumb. It's called thoracic spine mobility. Try to touch your right elbow all the way down to your left thumb. So you're looking down at the mat. Look at your elbow, touch your thumb. Good, now inhale, roll your right elbow back up into the air. Do that twice more, roll your elbow down with me, touch, right elbow touches left thumb, roll. Good, inhale, roll open. One more time, this is not easy, roll down, your hips are like, what's happening? Good, inhale, roll back up. Right arm rises, 
put your hands down inside of your foot. Now, warrior one stance, watch. Keep your right foot where it is. Turn your left toes out to about 10 o'clock. Now, walk your hands with me to about 10 o'clock. Slightly off the mat and then push your hips backwards. So your right knee is bending forward. Your left heel is anchored down in what we call a warrior one stance. And you almost have this like down dog shape with your upper body. Three, keep your right knee bent forward. Two, sorry, I know that was a little confusing. Exhale, go ahead and pivot back to center. Hands are inside of your foot. Good, exhale, when you're ready, lower the left knee down. So now start to feel the left hip move forward. Place your right hand on your right thigh. Give me a gentle twist to the right. Three. Keep your right hand on that right thigh. Just turn right. Two. Good. Exhale, right hand down. Hands and knees, tabletop. So you're going to glide that right leg straight back. Parallel your knees. Good. Now draw three hip circles to the right with me. One. Let the pelvis fully sink forward. Good. Get nice and juicy in this. Two. One more circle, circle, circle with me around. Three. Press it back to child's pose. Exhale. Let's go to the opposite side. Three circles. One. Finding that range of motion. Good. Two more with me. Two. You're going the opposite way now. One more. Hopefully there's a little popping, cracking, that good sensation. Exhale, child's pose. Push it back. Good. Forearms down. Palms together like namaste, thumbs up, pinkies down. Bring me to dolphin pose, pick up your butt. You're looking at your toes, I want you to feel the stretch through your upper back, but also there's a little bit of work built in. As you gaze at your toes, exhale, soften your neck. Keep your knees soft so that you're slightly buoyant on the balls of your feet. Good, hold, three. We're gonna lower our knees in two breaths. You can do this. Stay with me in dolphin, two. Exhale, put your knees down. Sit on your heels for hero's pose. And I know that sometimes sitting on the heels is a little difficult if your knees are really tight. So be gentle with the body if you need to shift this. And then I want you to take your arms all the way up. Weave your fingers together so interlace and then push your palms into the air. Lean back, three. Open up your chest, trying to create some room, too. So I'm trying to move the body the opposite way that it moves all day through a lot of our practice, okay? Exhale, release the hands. Bring them out in front of you, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Stay in down dog or let's move through our vinyasa, plank. Chaturanga push up, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, then back to down dog, unless you're already there because you didn't want to flow and that's okay. Left leg lifts, so go ahead and raise your left leg with me, lift it high. Exhale, step it forward, take your time. Now we're lifted in our lunge to start, so don't go ahead and drop the knee yet, we're headed there soon. Keep your right hand down, raise your left arm up, shoulders are stacked, here's your twisted lunge. Now, we did this on the first side, move your left foot over to the left. So now I'm moving my left foot towards you. Place your left hand behind your head. I want you to lean your head into your hand so your elbow really reaches up. Now, exhale, roll your elbow to your thumb, hold it. And now roll your elbow to the sky, oh yes. <laughs> Two more, roll with me down. T-spine mobility, roll with me up. Don't worry, my legs are also burning. Roll with me down. Good, roll with me up. Elbow up, stay. Left arm up, stay. Good, hands inside of the foot. Keep your back leg lifted, but drop your heel. So turn your right foot out to like two o'clock. Keep your left knee in line with your ankle. The knee is moving forward. Walk your hands to two o'clock. And then I'm gonna push my booty slightly towards you. So think downward facing dog in your torso, but think warrior one in your feet, three. 
let your hands move off your mat, it will be more successful too. Good, exhale, come back to center, spin to the ball of the right foot, lower the right knee. And now you're in a variation of very easy lizard pose. Left hand to left thigh, give me a little turn, three. Good, just a very simple twist, two. Exhale, put your hand down, tabletop, glide it back. Good, flip your hands around this time, so not hip circles, but instead a little wrist stretches. Allow your forearms to open. Good, now take your shoulders, pull them backwards. Three, you should feel that deep through your forearms, two. Good, exhale, forearms down. We're going back to dolphin. Bring your palms together, pinkies down, thumbs up. One, two, three, tuck your toes with me, raise your bum. Now, send your head between your biceps, look at your toes. If you're really tight, you might not be able to do that and that's okay. Do I feel a stretch in my upper back? Yes. Do I feel my upper back working? Yes, but it's working to feel good and it's working to engage the correct muscles to build strength. Take two more breaths, so inhale through the nose. Good, exhale out of your nose. One more time, inhale in. Exhale, slowly send your eyes forward as you drop your knees. Sit back on your heels if you can, you're on your shins. Come up onto your knees if this hurts at all. When you're ready, inhale, bring your arms up. And then again, we interlace, we flip the palms, we push open and then gain some space, three. I'm moving a little bit to assist that space, two. Good, exhale, downward facing dog known as Adho Mukha Svanasana, hips up and back. Option one, stay here. Option two, flow to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, Cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right leg rises, breath in. Reach your leg up high. Exhale, step your right foot forward, come into your high lunge. So bend your right knee. And now you're gonna take both arms all the way up into the air with me, steady hold. Good. Take your arms in a circle and I invite you to interlace your fingers at your low back. So try to get each finger to interlace. Try to press the insides of the wrist together and then I invite you to glide your knuckles down your butt as you open up your chest. Good, humble warrior, so drop your back heel just like we did when I asked you to set up for warrior one. Pop it down and now bow forward inside of the leg. Look back at your left foot. So your job is to lift your knuckles up to enjoy the pose. And now are you breathing? Inhale, come back up. Guess what? When you release your arms, you're gonna be in warrior one because your back heel is already down. So reach up to the sky. Press down through your back heel. Notice how my back heel is down, my hips are forward. Three, bend your right knee. Two, exhale, frame your foot. Straighten the right leg. Some of you might need to step your back foot up. Exhale, gently bow down. Here's your first deep hamstring stretch of pyramid pose. Hopefully you feel a little heat in the body and it feels nice. Three, two, and then when you're ready, you're gonna gaze forward. Let your left foot join your right foot. So you're in a forward fold now. Glide your hands to your blocks or your shins, lift and lengthen, or just put them on the ground if you have a lot of room. Exhale, fold forward with me. Let your chin tuck. See if you can look up towards your chest. Good, bone by bone, we're gonna stand up. 
and I want you to raise your left foot up off of your mat. So you're gonna bring your hands to heart center. I'll pivot towards you. And again, I'm using my left side, so I'm not mirroring you. So you might feel like it's the wrong side if you're facing me. And we're gonna take this foot in a tree pose. So below the knee, as I fall over, <laughs> or grab on tight above the knee. Now take your arms forward and maybe up. Your drishti is your gaze, so can you look slightly up too? Three. Good, push down through your standing foot. Two. One more full breath, exhale, release your hands. Good, bring your knee back to neutral and then release your foot down. Slide your right hand down your right leg, left arm to the sky. I'm facing forward on my mat just because it'll be easier with the flow, but it's up to you, whatever's easier. Good, and then exhale, let's move to side two, left arm, right arm. Don't worry, we'll get side two of tree pose coming up. Again, tree pose is vrikshasana. Come all the way back up, inhale, take both arms into the air. Exhale, bow forward, hands to toes, please. Take a nice flat back. We're gonna step our left foot back into a lunge. Lower your left knee down to your yoga mat. And then inhale, bring your arms up, knee down, crescent moon. So this should feel a little bit more open as you've already been kind of in a similar shape today. Feel like you're holding a nice ball of energy or a yoga block or something precious over your head. And then exhale, release your hands down. Step back to high plank, vinyasa or down dog, however you'd like to arrive to start round two of that sequence. Good, gaze at your knees. Soften the knees, are they bent? Answer should be yes. When you're ready, let's pick up our left leg together. Inhale, we reach high. Good, exhale, we step through. Inhale, high crescent lunge. So you're gonna bend the left knee forward. Watch the knee line up with the ankle and then take the arms up. And I repeat that a lot because I watch people step forward and I watch their knee fall open, meaning bow out, or I watch their knee drop in, meaning you'd pronate in the foot. And you wanna feel instead the knee move directly forward so that you find the alignment in your hip. And it's also a very safe place for the knee. Now, circle the arms. This is a tough request, but try to get the opposite thumb on top when you do this, because what that does is it gives you a different little way to kind of open the shoulders. It might feel a little awkward. Good, lean back. Exhale, right heel down. Warrior one stance, hinge forward, bow down. Humble warrior. Look back at your right foot if possible. Pull your right shoulder bone forward. Try to feel like your shoulders are parallel, three. We're moving into warrior one, your legs are already set up in two. Glide your gaze forward, keep moving up, 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 reach your arms up, you made it. My left leg is shaking. <laughs> Exhale, frame your foot. Nice job, that was tough. Now, straighten the left leg or step the right foot up as you straighten the left leg if you need to shorten your stance for your pyramid pose. Let your hands walk a little bit further forward. Exhale, your, the back of your left leg should be chatting with you. Mine's actually shaking a little bit. Yours might be as well. One more full breath. I guess I'm tighter than I thought I was. Exhale, right foot steps up to meet your left foot. Glide your hands for a half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. 
Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, standing. It's called Urva Hastasana, known as a standing back bend pose. Exhale, gather your hands to your heart center. Now, same as before, you don't have to pivot and face me, but you're going to pick up your right knee so it comes to your chest. You're standing on your left foot. If you did the other side to begin with, just switch. It's not a big deal. Now, moving the foot to the calf muscle or grabbing the heel to pick it up a little higher. Tree pose can feel easy in the sense that you've seen the pose before. It's offered in many levels of classes, but then to advance the pose, it's about how can you get the knee to turn a little bit further out without turning the standing leg hip because you want your hips forward. How can you change the pose by straightening the arms maybe? Changing the drishti, which is the gaze, turning it up. Good, finding a place where the balance just starts to create a little bit more tension and get a little bit harder. Take another full round of breath. Just pull the hands to the heart. Bring the knee to neutral. Release your feet together. I'm just turning forward. Left hand down, left leg. We're going to side bend to both sides. Right arm up. Press your hips right. Good. Right hand down, right leg. Left arm up. Inhale, both arms to sky. Exhale, bow forward. Lengthen out. You should feel nice and stretchy now that you've been moving for a good bit of time. Right foot, step it back. Then say flexible. I just said stretchy. <laughs> right knee lowers down. Inhale, knee down, crescent moon. Raise your arms up into the air. And then hopefully as you sink your pelvis forward, you get some nice freedom here in the front body. Three. Good. Maybe look up. Again, you're holding a block or this beautiful ball of energy over your head too. That's your prana. Exhale, frame your foot. Meet me in high plank, top of a push-up. Flow together or lift your hips if you prefer. As we press into down dog, exhale, maybe an open mouth sigh. Turn your head side to side. Sometimes if you can just hear someone else breathe out loud, or even the humming breath, it's like a hum. You can also feel that same release. Pick up your right leg, reach it into the air. Step your right foot through. Come back to that twist we did in the beginning. Right arm up, but don't move into the elbow to thumb. Instead, just stack. Three. Maybe even move your right arm into a half bind. Two. Keep opening up your chest. And then I invite you to take your right arm back up if it's in the bind. Exhale to frame your foot. High crescent lunge, so move with me. We're going to raise our arms up into the air. Good. This time, instead of interlacing the fingers behind the back, we're going to move into eagle arms. So bring your arms in front of you. Take your right arm under your left arm. Hold your shoulders or forearms. Straighten both legs. You're on the ball of your left foot. Your right foot is flat. Now bend your right knee. Let's let the back heel drop. Dive down, eagle arm variation of humble warrior. Three. Maybe you need to walk your right foot to the right if you feel like you don't have enough room. Two. Good, and then on one, you're gonna inhale, strengthen both of your legs, come up. Good, raise your arms up. Spin back to the ball of your foot. Little strength here, left knee touches the mat. 
Come on. Now, left leg lifts. Exhale your hands to heart center. Lean forward. Warrior three, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit just so I don't go down into the laundry room. Left leg lifts up. <laughs> that would be the day, right? <laughs> Roll your toes down. You can take your hands back behind you or even reach them forward or they're perfectly fine right here. And then we're going to glide our left leg back up. We're going to put it back in tree pose, but don't grab your foot yet. Instead, turn the left knee out. See if you can put the foot on the calf muscle first. Now, keeping the knee turned out, can you lift the foot up? And then I can't get all the way to my inner thighs, so now I'm going to reach and grab. And that's just a good way to kind of work with an external rotation of the hip, little strength building exercise. See if you can hold here. Good. And then take your hands to your low back. Three, two, inhale, left knee comes up. Exhale, high lunge, step back. Bring both of your arms into the air. And then exhale, revolved crescent twist. Hands to heart center. Twist your left arm outside of your leg. Now I'm going to try to look away from you by looking out my curtains to my right. My spine has rolled in your direction and I ask that you try to do the same with your torso. Rolling your spine left, your heart right. Three, two, you've got this. Stay with me. Inhale your arms up. One exhale. Stay with me with strength. Left knee to mat. Left leg up. Come on. Hands down. Down dog. Step it back. Option one, stay in down dog. Option two, we go to plank, we flow, and then we meet back in down dog together. Now we got to do that all again on the other side, but then I promise after that we'll get a little closer to the mat, less aggressive in our movement, okay? From down dog, please lift your left leg up into the air. Lift it high, reach. Exhale, step it in between your hands. Keep your hands down. Right hand stays. And this is where the left arm opens up. So we twist. Good. Now you can stay stacked or half bind. So I like to roll my forearm on my low back and then use that to help me roll open. Three. Two. Inhale, reach up high with your fingertips. Good. Exhale, release. Strong in both legs. Inhale, rise up. High crescent lunge. Good. Exhale. Tap your right knee down. This is the first one of two. Pick it up. Good. Now reach your arms forward. Left arm under, grab your shoulder blades, or continue to cross. Straighten both legs as you lean back, so your left leg is straight, foot is flat, you're on the ball of the right foot. Exhale, bend your left knee, drop your right heel down. Good, now hinge with me forward, it's called humble warrior. And then what we did was we played with the variation. We added eagle arms for the bind versus binding behind the back. Three. Now the booty is going to want to pop out to the left. Pull it forward and over to the right. Two. Eagle arms. You've got this. Come up, 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 up. And then free the arms. Good. Spin to the ball of your back foot. Hands to heart center. Shift your chest forward. Pick up your back leg again. I'm going to do this. Hold. 
three. You're in warrior three, hands are at heart, or maybe you've practiced reaching your arms forward. That's a hard option. Two. One more breath. Exhale, very slowly step it back. Bring your arms up into the air. Inhale, you're in high lunge. Right knee taps down, exhale. Inhale, pick up right knee. Good, release your hands down, frame your foot, step up to the top of your mat. Bone by bone, stand up. So I'm gonna give you a little chance here to round out your back. Good, now your right knee is lifted. Good, so we just did a little different transition there. Externally rotate your right hip. So turn your right knee open towards the right. All right, now pick the knee up higher. Put the foot on the calf muscle, hold. Now without your hands, your hands can be on your hips or they can hold a wall, but don't grab your foot. Lift the foot higher, lift, 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 and then grab it at the last second in order to find tree. Good. Three. Two. Hands at low back, inhale, back bend and tree. See if you can do it. Good, bring your right knee to center. You've got this, guys. We have one final pose, lunge. Arms up, hands to heart center, revolved crescent twist to the left, hook, and then revolve, aka twist. Push through your back heel, keep your left knee moving forward. If you feel your legs and the muscles in your ankles, that's very normal. Almost just completely fell over. One more big breath, it happens to the best of us. Inhale, rise up, take an inhale, big breath. Hands down to the mat. Step back to down dog, lift. Flow with me here, plank. Chaturanga, here's that opportunity to back bend. Stay. Child's pose from the very beginning. I'm gonna bring my knees together Rest my tummy on my thighs. Bend my elbows a little bit out to the sides so my shoulders are in complete relaxation. And then just exhale, soften. Take a big inhale into your back. And a big exhale. One more. Rise up to tabletop, shift forward. Good. Now we're gonna take our right leg back first, or excuse me, left leg, left leg, left leg. Now we did this in the very beginning, but we're gonna add on, okay? So take your right foot off the mat to the right. Anchor your left foot. Make sure your right hand and shoulder are in alignment and now peel your left arm up with me. Option one, you're here. You're gonna stay, you're gonna reach over your head, or lift up through your left leg, bend your knee, heel to butt. Stay here, or take your left hand, grab your foot, kick your foot into your hand, not up, but back, so I'm trying to touch my curtain, which I can be doing, and then open up, three. Little, little weight in your right wrist, so don't dig down, lift up, two. Good, inhale, let your leg go long, reach over your head, take a big stretch. Keep moving over the head all the way down to tabletop. Now give me a little bump in your hips from side to side. Ooh, my hips there, it popping. Right foot, send it back. Push to the ball of the foot, give it some space. Exhale, bump left toes out, ground your right foot flat. Good, reach up high with me, right arm in the air, stay. This is a beautiful spot to hold. You still feel your core and you're still stretching. Maybe lift the right leg. Stay here or bend the right knee, heel to butt. Take the left arm, that's where we practice that backstroke. Grab your foot, 
and then roll your gaze open. I'm kicking my foot towards you, not up. Three, two, inhale, leg goes long, arm comes up and around, we find tabletop. And then we sit on our heels. Good, I'm just gonna turn towards you, you don't have to pivot. Otherwise, you know, I'm teaching to a door. <laughs> Raise one arm up, doesn't matter which arm, we're doing both. Exhale, grab your ear. And if sitting like this really doesn't serve you, just sit on your butt or come up onto your knees. Good, now pull your ear to your shoulder. Now, I'm starting to feel the stretch through my throat and my neck. I want you to take your chin, you're gonna slightly tuck it down. And then this arm that's chilling, you're gonna rotate the palm open. And even lifting the arm up like an inch, you should feel that through the right, or excuse me, through the straight arm bicep. And clearly you should feel that in your neck and throat. Three. I'm closing my eyes just because it's nice and relaxing. Two. Stay where you are. Blink your eyes open. Relax the arm that's extended away from the body. Keep your ear to your shoulder, but remove the arm that's over the head. Take your fingertips to the opposing side of the head. Push your head back up. Why do we do that? So you don't have to activate your neck. Switch sides. Inhale up. Get ready to get that bicep right next to your ear. Let them be buddies. Reach up and over your head. Grab your ear. Good. So just do the other side you haven't done yet. Exhale, left ear, or excuse me, opposing ear, shoulder to shoulder. I'm pulling my right ear to my right shoulder. You might be on that side or a different side. And I'm really starting to feel that direct lateral stretch through the side of the neck. Now, adding the diagonal lateral stretch, AKA some flexion, tuck your chin. Good, now the arm that's chilling by your side, turn the palm face up. Lift the arm like two inches away from you. Close your eyes and it should feel rather therapeutic and intense at the same time, but there's some pleasure in the pose as well. So when we can spice in therapeutic sensation, pleasure, and effort we make for that really yummy, yummy sensation. Release the straight arm that's out from your side. Keep your ear to your shoulder, but remove the hand. Fingertips to head, ready, set, bring it up. Good. Place your hands on your thighs. You're just gonna go ear to shoulder, chin to chest, ear to shoulder. I'm not a fan of full neck circles, so we're gonna take a half neck circle. We're going back to the center, back to ear to shoulder, back to the center, back to ear to shoulder. Stay on this side, ear to shoulder and then let your head come up from there. Nice work. Let's find one more down dog together, so shift. Exhale, see if your neck is a little bit softer as your head hangs here in down dog. And then I invite you into a flow, plank, push up, back bend, booty to sky. Good, exhale. Lower your knees down with me. We're gonna do some side body stretching which mirrors the effort we did in our neck. So, I want you to extend one leg out to the side. Doesn't matter which leg. And then this foot is mimicking tree pose but in a way to where we're not bringing the foot all the way in, we've instead left space. And that space is for us to fold, okay? First, we start gliding our hand down the leg. I invite you to reach for the shin, for the knee, because some people are really tight. Or reach for the pinky toe edge of your foot, or roll your thumb down if you can, reach for the inside of the foot. And then you're gonna raise the opposing arm up. And you can reach that arm straight up and just keep it there, like a north to south reach. Or you can reach your hand behind your head, like we did in the lunge series in the beginning. And for me, this is a little bit better because I can get a deeper stretch and it's a little bit more relaxing 
than just having my arm straight up to the sky. Good, three. If you feel like the ribs that are stretching are going to like bust open your skin, then I'm with you, but in a nice way. Good, come all the way up. Seated twist towards the bent knee. Twist. I really like this seated series because it allows us to open up through the groin, hamstring, and side body, but then also gives us those seated supine twist. Now, staying here for one more pose, move towards the open foot to leg, okay? And then try to walk it out. And as you do that, you should feel that in your bent knee hip and then the bottom of your straight leg hamstring. I also feel this in my low back, specifically on the side of my body with the bent knee. Three. Close your eyes. You might even have a block. You can put your head on the block so that it rests on the mat. Two. Let's sit up together on one. Lovely. Let's do all that again on side two. All right. So finding that comfortable seat. And I didn't say this on the first side. I should have said this. But if you feel like you can't sit up straight, remember, always sit on a nice little blanket. You can even fold your mat up like this. And you can sit on your mat. All right, now first we move through the side stretch, then the twist, then the forward fold. So hand to shin or knee, hand to pinky toe edge of foot, or fullest variation, thumb is gonna roll down towards the ankle, pinky is towards the big toe. Give a little tug, and that's what's gonna turn you open. Now raise your free arm up. Stay. <laughs> or hand behind your head. And then give yourself a little bit more freedom. <laughs> I feel like I'm not going anywhere, but I feel it. <laughs> Good. Stretch. Reach up with your arm. Seated spinal twist, come all the way up, turn toward your bent knee, and then peek over the shoulder. Good. You can use that hand across your knee to really pull your torso. And then exhale, final pose here. You're going to spin your body so that you're trying to get your belly button right in between the straight leg and the bent knee, aka where that space is, and then fold. And you guys might only be like right here, right? We might be really like high from the ground. If you can get your forearms down, do it. If you have a block, put it right here and put your head on the block. All right, again, what we're doing with that block is we're reducing the tension in our neck. And I feel this immensely more in my low back than I do any other part of my body right now. But that's because the side of my low back that's getting stretched is my very, very tight side and where I tend to hold most of my tension. So you might notice that even though your knee is bent, that you're not feeling the hip, you're feeling the low back or vice versa. And even though you have this leg out straight, maybe you're feeling the groin, maybe the hamstring. Good, and then slowly rise up. Since we're here, let's go ahead and open both legs to the side. This will be our final seated pose. Toes up, heels down, so you're in a wide-legged straddle. Again, prop something up under your butt if you need to, and then exhale, move forward a little bit, or maybe you move forward a lot bit. Whatever works for you. <laughs> Again, that block can go right here. Your head can go down. My body is craving to be here for like two minutes, but we're not going to do that. But you could do that. It's an option. Three. Two. 
and rise up. Good. Help your legs together. I like to grab from the side of it and pull it in and then grab from the other side. And then we'll slowly make our way onto our back. So if you were turned towards me, pivot if you need to. Good, exhale, let your spine lower. And then go ahead and extend your legs long. And then reach your arms over your head, squeeze your legs together. Just take that nice full body stretch. You did a lot of work today, so just kind of noticing if you can give yourself a peaceful moment here. We're gonna pull our right knee in towards our chest. We're gonna move into a supine twist, so give it a big hug. Now, move your hips slightly to the right, and you can do that by just putting your right hand down, bumping your hips, and then pull your knee across the body. And as you do that, I'm gonna take my left shoulder blade. This might be a little confusing, but I'm gonna try to pick it up and pull it to the left. That's gonna get my spine a little bit flatter on the ground. And then maybe you can reach your right arm straight out to the right. Maybe you can roll your right ear down and your left ear up. And the goal here is that you're starting to feel the stretch in the right low back, right booty, right chest. Three. Two, exhale, one, bring it in. Right knee gives some love. Left leg as it comes in, bump the hips so they're neutral. Lay the right leg down. Inhale, hug your knee in tight. Exhale, let the right hand take over. Again, I'm gonna put my left hand down to assist the spinal twist, meaning move my hips to the left. And then I'm gonna take my right shoulder blade, this is what I talked about before, it might be a little confusing. Bump it to the right, which is gonna pull my left shoulder blade down more so that maybe I can reach my left arm out and look to the left. Now you might be able to roll all the way onto your left ear or maybe keeping the back of your head down face up is better. Feeling the opening here, left pec, left low back, left booty, three, two, Exhale, we move our bodies back to center. Hug your knee to your chest. Make sure you're scooting your butt back. And then bring the right knee in as well. Draw a few circles on the ceiling in one direction. And then the other. You should feel that massage, not only in the low back, but the very top of your glutes. And then bring the knees wide. We'll take happy baby before we close. Knees to armpits. Feet in the air. And hold. This is a great place to close your eyes. You can go ahead and bring the feet together. Lay the pinky toe edges of the feet down. That's your Supta Baddha Konasana, which is supine bound angle or you can extend your legs all the way out. I'm gonna let my feet touch and my knees open and I'm gonna place my hands on my low belly or a sense of grounding. You're just here for a short time, so whatever sensation you can find or feel, I invite you to join me now. As we lay with our spines heavy and the back of our heads heavy, see if you can feel like the whole body can be at rest at one time. And that includes the beauty of your mind.
Take about three more deep breaths. If your knees are bent in the supine bound angle, extend your legs long on your mat for me. And then reach your arms over your head if you want, just an option. Exhale, hug your knees to your chest and make your way to seated when you're ready. No rush to join me here. You're at home or somewhere special so you can stay <laughs> or as you come to seated our hands are going to greet heart center and you're going to close your eyes for a final moment of breath and meditation before this practice is over pushing your palms together sitting up tall thanking yourself for choosing to show up and lay your mat down. Let's go ahead and exhale, bow forward, namaste, and enjoy the rest of whatever the day has ahead for you. Nice work. <laughs>